Hi everyone, uh, I have another installment of the Southern Gothic Book Club for you. So Gopra's Book Club. Um, and this week our story comes from A Treasury of Southern Folklore, uh, a book that was lent to me by my dear friend Mike Rail. Um, it is from like the 20s or the 30s, it's super old. And I was inspired to read you this story by the recent discovery of the Chupacabra down in Texas. Uh, I've always been a fan of cryptozoology and uh, I really hope they did find a Chupacabra because I believe in magic and mysterious creatures. I hope you guys do too. So this week I'm going to read to you about the mysterious music at Pascaluga. I think that's how you say it. It's the sea maiden of Biloxi. Uh, during that summer, Governor Perrier, leaving New Orleans, visited the first settlements of the French at the Bay of St. Louis at Biloxi, uh, Pas wait, Pascaloga and Mobile, whatever that is. Um, while among the bread eaters, he was invited to go to the mouth of the river of that name to listen to the mysterious music which floats on the waters, particularly on a calm, moonlit night, and which to this day excites the wonder of visitors. It seems to issue from the caverns or grottos in the bed of the river, and sometimes oozes up through the water under the very keel of the boat which contains the inquisitive traveler, whose ear it strikes as the distant concert of a thousand Aeolian harps. On the banks of the river, close by the spot where the music is heard, tradition says that there existed a tribe different in color and in other peculiarities from the rest of the Indians. Their ancestors had originally emerged from the sea where they were born and were of light complexion. They were a gentle, gay, inoffensive race, living chiefly on oysters and fish, and they passed their time in festivals and rejoicings. They had a temple in which they adored a mermaid. Every night when the moon was visible, they gathered round the beautifully carved figure of the mermaid and with instruments of strange shape, worshipped that idol with such soul-stirring music as had never been heard before by blessed human ears. Uh, one night when the moon was at her zenith, poured on heaven and earth with more profusion than usual, a flood of light angelic at the... Yeah, flood of light angelic at the solemn hour of twelve, when all in nature was repose and silence, there came, on a sudden, a rushing on the surface of the river, as if the still air had been flapped into a whirlwind by the myriads of invisible wings sweeping onward. The water seemed to be seized by a convulsive fury, uttering a deep groan. It rolled several times from one bank to the other with rapid oscillations, and then gathered itself up into a towering column of foaming waves, on the top of which stood a mermaid, looking down with magnetic eyes that could draw almost everything to her, and singing with a voice which fascinated into madness. The Indians and the priest, these are all the people that were watching, and their new guest rushed to the bank of the river to contemplate this supernatural spectacle. When she saw them, the mermaid turned her tone into a still more bewitching melody and kept chanting a sort of mystic song with this often repeated ditty. Come to me, come to me, children of the sea. Neither bell, book, nor cross shall win ye from your queen. The Indians listened with growing ecstasy, and one of them plunged into the river to rise no more. The rest, men, women, and children, followed in quick succession, moved, as it were, with the same irresistible impulse. When the last of the race disappeared, a wild laugh was heard. Down returned the river to its bed with the roar of a cataract, and then the whole scene seemed to have been but a dream. Ever since that time, it has occasionally heard the distant music which has excited so much attention and investigation. I'm telling you folks, um, mermaids have been around forever, and I believe in them wholeheartedly. And I want to know what cryptozoological creatures you guys believe in, whether it's Bigfoot, um, maybe the Mothman. Let me know what haunts your dreams. Till then.